Birmingham, Alabama, Democrat Doug Jones won a bitter fight for a U.S. Senate seat in deeply conservative Alabama on Tuesday, dealing a political blow to President Donald Trump in a tight race marked by sexual misconduct accusations against firebrand Republican candidate Roy Moore. With 99 percent of the vote counted, Jones had a 1.5 percentage point lead over Moore. But the Republican refused to concede, telling supporters in Montgomery that votes were still coming in and state law would trigger a recount if the margin was within half a per century. Here are five reasons why the election matters. Jones' electoral victory in Alabama will trim the Republicans' already narrow Senate majority to just one seat, endangering Trump's legislative agenda. The U.S. president has been rolling back his predecessor Barack Obama's legacy since taking office in January. The Republicans have already struggled to enact policies of any scale and will now face even more resistance. For now Jones' election win will not affect the pending votes in Congress on a tax overhaul or government funding as he is expected to take office only in early January, after the election results are certified. Republicans currently hold a 52-48 majority in the Senate and after Jones is seated that will drop to 51-49. Vice President Mike Pence can cast tie-breaking votes. Trump, who once said he could shoot someone on Fifth Avenue and still win votes, found his limit with more, even in a state he won by 28 percentage points just one year ago. Combined with recent Republican losses in statewide elections in Virginia and New Jersey, Moore's defeat blows a hole in Trump's aura of political invincibility. Despite allegations that Moore made sexual advances on teenagers while in his 30s, Trump broke with much of his party and threw his support behind the former judge. Moore has denied the allegations. I need Alabama to go vote for Roy Moore, Trump said in a robo call to Alabama voters on Monday. The electoral defeat suffered by the Republicans is also a rebuke to the GOP's anti-establishment wing led by former White House chief strategist Stephen Bannon and will deepen rifts within the Republican Party. Bannon has thrown his weight behind more in what he has depicted as a battle against a Republican establishment out to thwart the Trump revolution. Now the majority leader Mitch McConnell can point to Moore's defeat as another in a string of disastrous candidates pushed by the party's right wing that have cost the GOP Senate seats in Delaware, Indiana, and Missouri. Any illusion that Steve Bannon's brand of politics could be successful vanished when a state like Alabama became competitive, said Josh Holmes, former campaign manager and chief of staff for McConnell. You'd have to be absolutely blind and willfully ignorant to not realize this has been a national embarrassment. Tuesday's stunning upset makes Jones the first Democrat elected to the U.S. Senate from Alabama in 25 years, a win which analysts say will embolden the Democratic Party as it prepares for the 2018 congressional elections. Taking the stage to thunderous cheers, Jones, a former federal prosecutor, held up his victory as a message to Washington from voters fed up with political warfare.